For this experiment, you will need a meter stick mounted horizontally, a laser, an electronic scale, and a Cavendish apparatus firmly mounted on a wall. Now the Cavendish apparatus is mounted on a concrete wall. The apparatus consists of two 15 gram masses mounted in a torsional balance arrangement. Here you can see one of the masses. The other one is on the other side of the bar. You can also see here a mirror mounted on the wire where the bar is attached to. The laser points at this mirror and the light reflects from this mirror onto our meter stick where we make all our measurements. Now the other part of the Cavendish apparatus are these two large lead spheres. These lead spheres will attract the smaller 15 gram lead spheres because of a gravitational force. We need to know the mass of these two lead spheres and we can do that on the balance. Another measurement that we need to have for this experiment is the distance from the mirror to the ruler where all our measurements are being made. And as you can see here on the tape measure, it's 130.5 centimeters. Now first we must measure the torsional constant for this apparatus and to do that we bring a magnet close to the lead spheres. This will cause a repulsion and it will cause the apparatus to start to twist and from that twisting motion we can determine the torsional constant for the wire used in this apparatus. As you can see, the spot is moving across the meter stick and we're going to start the stopwatch when it reaches the 30 centimeter mark and we're going to note the position of the laser spot every two minutes over a 24 minute period. Here we're coming up to the first two minute period. Note the position of the middle of the laser light when we get to two minutes. You could pause the DVD and go forward frame at a time.
Here we're coming up to the next two minute interval at four minutes. And again, measure the middle, the position of the middle of the laser dot on the meter stick. Again, you could pause and go frame at a time to get a more accurate reading. And we'll just continue this up to 24 minutes.
And here's our last measurement that we're going to make at 24 minutes coming up. Again, note the middle of the laser spot, its position on the meter stick. Now to begin the experiment we put the two lead spheres on the Cavendish apparatus and move it to position one. Now this will disturb the delicate balance of the mirror and we'll have to wait for an hour or so till it finally settles down. So here is the first reading for the masses in position one. This is after an hour and a half and you can now read the middle of the laser spot on the meter stick for your very first reading. Now after we've made our measurement of the laser light on the meter stick for position one, we move the spheres to the second position. Now again this will disturb the delicate balance of the apparatus and we'll have to wait for an hour or so for it to settle down to make our second reading. Now here's the laser dot on the meter stick. This is with the masses in position two. This is after about an hour of oscillating. And you can read on the meter stick there the center of the laser dot to the nearest millimeter. Now, with this video and the worksheet that accompanies this video, determine the universal gravitational constant.